So we're here today, of course, to talk about Dash and Lily. I'm really curious to know more about your audition process and what your reaction was when you found out that you booked the part. Yeah. Oh man, I can't. I can't tell you how, how thrilled I was. Um, <laughs> yeah. I I I sent in a tape, um, and yeah, my friend came over, and um, I was living in a garage at the time. And oh wow cars were driving by and horns were blowing and uh I, it was it was a, a hectic experience but but yeah I mean I was really happy with my audition and um I thought the part was perfect for me and yeah and then it, it was kind of a um a slow process of finding mm -hmm. out you know I yeah you just do the best you can every time and then but uh yeah they at first, it didn't seem like I was going to get it, um, and then, um, and then it kind of switched on me, and uh, you, I was right like, there when my manager got the call, and uh, they said, "Yeah, Netflix wants to make a deal with with Glenn," and he he was looking at me while he was saying, "He said, oh, okay, they want to make a deal," and then we just our eyes lit up, and <laughs> and then I just I ran we just gave each other a hug, and you know because. My manager's done a lot for me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we really kind of picked me off of off of the ground, and and uh, I was very thankful. So it was a it was a joyous moment to say the least. That's amazing. I really love the show. I binge watched it last week, and I loved your character in specific. Did you ever play a character similar to Edgar before, or was this something new that you tried out? Um, I yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of uh, there's similarities to uh, lots of you know every character. Um, I mean, you were, you mentioned Bucket and Skinner and Aloe's kind of, he's kind of the bully, right? And so Edgar used to be a bully and, and now he's, he's almost uh, like Aloe as if he had grown up and gone to lots of therapy. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so yeah, it was, uh, it, w it was definitely a new character though. And, um, you know, because he is, he kind of is that, that bad guy, but mm -hmm but he has humanity to him and he has depth to him. And, um, and so it was, it was fun to bring that aspect to a seemingly negative character. Definitely. And I loved your character in specific. Do you feel like you have a favorite scene that you shot with Edgar? What was like your favorite one to do? My favorite one. Oh, I think well, my favorite, I really loved filming the, um, the, the club scene where Lily's. Oh yeah. I mean, she, she had to do that dance multiple times. Um, so it was really just fun to watch and she, she committed and she, she did great, uh, no complaints. And uh, that was a really fun one. And that was my first day on set. And so it was, it was pretty exhilarating, but I also, I really did love the, uh, and I loved I, the dog park scene was fun. Um, the, the slam poetry, Mm -hmm. was really fun for me because that that one I, I felt really connected uh to that scene and but yeah I mean it's really hard to pick <laughs> do you do poetry in real life you said you were really connected to it's funny um it's funny that you mentioned I, yesterday I was at Barnes and Nobles with my little niece and we were reading poetry and she's she's starting to learn how to read oh, and, cute. Um, <laughs> and so we were kind of we were she, I was just kind of uh, helping her read this mm -hmm. really uh, expansive piece of poetry. It was really, it was fun. It was really fun. But yeah, I do, I do love poetry. I love art in all forms. That's amazing. Me too. I'm a huge artsy person. So, and more about Dash and Lily. I know you filmed all around New York City. Did you have a favorite location that you filmed at? I, I would say my favorite location was probably the, I, that I filmed at was the dog park um and then but other than that I, I I had a lot of time on my hands so I I roamed around New York and went on many adventures just <laughs> dove into so many different restaurants um and and I spent a lot of the time a lot of time at the Strand as well just you know peeking through all of their their old uh mm -hmm. the 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 classic uh novel section the, yeah I grew up here like I New York City so it was really cool to see you guys filmed everywhere throughout the city I actually live near Diker Heights so that was really interesting to see nice. like that on the screen for so it's a, it's a wonderful city it's one of my favorite places I've ever been 
Definitely. And what has the fan reaction been to like to your character, Edgar, in specific? Have you received any nice notifications on like social media? Anything yeah, like I've seen. A, yeah, a lot of people are are kind of uh, feeling for him at the end. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people have messaged me and said like, "Yeah, I feel you." You know, uh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> so, I think yeah, I think a lot of people can can kind of relate. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been getting a lot of a lot of good good feedback. Awesome. And like, did you have like any favorite, like, I guess, thing that you learned from working on this project or a fun fact you could share with us about? That was kind of a loaded question about like the series. Um, man, it, it was, it was, I will say this, it, it was such a collaborative experience it, it, the entire time. Um, because I went in there, I mean, you do all, you do your work, right? And you prepare and, and then you go in and, and you are, open to changes and this set in particular this crew this cast was so collaborative and I, I just felt very very welcome and uh, everyone's ideas were heard it was just a very positive uh, environment to work in and so it was yeah it was incredible that's lovely and of course Dash and Lily is about like the holidays and Christmas do you have any holiday traditions that you do maybe with your family yeah, I um I usually go to New Orleans, which is where I'm from, and uh, we my whole my family we fry a turkey, and we uh, you know we just eat a lot, and I'll go fishing with my my uncle and my cousins, and and it's just a it's a really good family in time, and unfortunately I'm not going to be doing that this year. Uh, but I look forward to next year. Definitely. And of course, Dash and Lily, it was like a huge project for you. Do you have any other roles that you hope to pursue in the future? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm always, always looking to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing. And, and um, I, I, it's, it's like a, an endless craving to just do great work and to be a part of projects like Dash and Lily, which are beautiful stories. They mean something. There's depth to it. It's not just, it's not cheesiness. It has a message, you Definitely. know, and I, I, I want to be a part of as many of those types of projects as possible. For sure. And lastly, where can fans find you on social media and stay connected with you? Can you shout out like your handles? Sure. Um, yeah, my, uh, my Instagram is uh, just at Flynn McEwen. Um, and then I, I have Twitter, but I rarely, I <laughs> guess. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to get, you know, be up on my social media game but it's, it's I, hard. yeah it, it's a little it's a little tricky for me at least um but but it is important to stay connected to my fans and um you know so I'm doing Definitely. my best <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today I really enjoyed speaking with you about Dash and Lil. it was a pleasure thank you